what we're going to be testing out here is the ability to hyper grind post economic rework. So that means we are hyper grinding. So that means we are going to be. Oh, I don't want to burn my reds. Um, we'll burn the blues. We're going to be burning the the blue economic boost for the um, ship XP and free XP. Um, so yeah. And I'm going to follow the same rules as I did for the other hyper grind video. So I can use my credit reserve that I have just because again, we did it with, we did it with the last two hyper grind rounds. Um, use reds for highest tier. We might do that. We might do that for the nine and the 10. Uh, we'll see if we can get to it tonight on stream. Um, with the cruisers, it took me, well, it took about 20 games last time. So I don't think we're going to be, we're going for the outdated Z-Line Jabberwock. So it's going to be interesting. So I don't think we're going to be able to get to it tonight on stream. Uh, stream normally covers about 10 to 15 games. We, we might get closed. And again, if we can use some of these red boosters at higher tier and we get like some S tier games, we might be able to do it in one stream, in one sitting. But we're, we're, we're going to see. And that's if it's like the old system. We're going to see what it's like in the new system. All right. So, again, um, the rules, I can use my credit reserve because, again, same rules as last time. We're just looking at XP gain. Um, and this is it. So I can use the XP that I earn on the ships. And the um, I can't touch this free XP. So, oh, uh, Commander 2, I'm going to keep this guy. We're going to move him up uh, probably until, like, Tier 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, see, so I have a couple of 19-point commanders that I'm just going to slap on there when we get to around Tier 5. So we are going to see how this goes. Wow, I forgot this thing's got some crazy torp angles. What? Oh, no, Internet! Internet, come back! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm still alive! Oh, ble bless you, whoever just saved me. Oh. Okay, um, hmm. I don't, I don't think that, that match counts. I think he is. Hello. How did that miss? Oh, there we go. That's one. So that's 11,000 XP and 3,095 free XP. So we have to consult our friend, the notepad. So 3,095, that gives us 4,000. Oh no, math. Uh, that'll turn into a, a six okay and that is two games and we have 4672 xp free xp left or accumulated so far so we have 11,000 base xp ship xp all right so that'll get us um ba -ba 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 -ba. easily to the v170 And purchased, and we don't have quite enough to get to the next one. Okay, here comes our resident stream sniper. Oh shit, and a chunking. Oh, actually, my chunking comment may be. Nope, never mind, he dodged it. Wow. Chad. Oh, but I got Wisconsin! <laughs> But yeah, absolute like Giga Chad chunking there, smoking up his uh, his teammates. There's not intention. I'm just stupid. <laughs> uh, imagine having torpedoes that only affect one class of ship. Oh well, he he's big dead. <laughs> That's a solo cap.
arrived a little bit too late to save your cat, bud. We're gonna poke him before we uh, completely disappear, though. Poke and get those defended cap ribbons. All right. The defended cap ribbons are also worth quite a bit too. So I'm going to flip around and get Stern into this cap. If you don't know, Stern is the best way to approach the cap because you have your ship's full maneuverability at your disposal. Not full maneuverability, but full acceleration at your disposal. Because, of course, reversing isn't as fast as going forward. So when you're flipped in, you can just floor it and get out if you get contested or radared or whatever. Speaking of radar, they've got the New Orleans, and that's it. This is a turning circle, all right. I know my torps don't go out that far. I'm just dumping them there in case another DD pops up. If you had the XP, what guns would you get on this ship? I noticed that there, there's some bigger guns. But these are 128, so like they're already pretty good when it comes to uh, DPM and... Um, you better go all the way underwater, sir. When it comes to DPM and HE pens, so I don't see a need to... It's another DD. Yep. Oh, yep, yeah, look, Farragut, right there. Oh, he's coming full bore on to us too, boys. Did we just bounce Battleship AP? Like, I'm pretty sure we just bounced Battleship AP. The spicy AP. Switzerland, thank you for the two. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Whatever it is, thank you for it, sir. Let's see if we can get him back within Hydro range. Please, please, please. Oh, man. Focusing. I hear splashes. Why won't you die? What? Hi, Takachi. Uh, how's it going? I'm gonna need you to not. Now, maybe since it's like a super light cruiser, the AP will be extra effective against it. I mean, it, they do really have, like, no armor, so. Yeah, 2,000. That's not bad. Three more salvos of that, and he's dead. Oh, bro, we citadeled him. Rip. Look at me. I am the cruiser now. Oh, shoot. He is just full send in. Yeah, uh, turn outward into my torpedoes. That'll help. Okay, that's the kill. Well, we are off to a good start. What's the Mahan doing? What? has to be a bot, right? This guy is confusing the heck out of I thought he was a bot, but now he's like playing sensibly.
This is most confusing. He's being very erratic with his, uh, with his engine settings, I'll say that. Vroom. Oh, he dropped planes right on top of me. How, how generous of him. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, that's an Atlanta. His uh, radar is 8 kilometers, I do believe. Oh, yep, I was... Well, 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 how the turntables indeed. Alright, and we should be okay for now. Two torps in the Jean Bar, though. What's my smoke firing penalty? I think it's 3.1. But we're not going to test that right now. Because we need to just get... Well, the Kagro's on my flank again. Hey, why don't you shoot the the car? No, the, the guy that's like gonna kill you. Yeah, don't worry about me. Ah, oh, God, yeah, Japanese Alpha HE Alpha is rough. And again, look, look at this. All of my armored ships are hiding behind this one island, and I'm out here in a DD having to deal with a Jambor and a Kagero and a Duncan, and they're all just hiding behind this island. God, that why? <laughs> When you have a DD that's out and about and willing to do stuff for you, why you I have the only kill in a tier 9 game! And I did it in an unupgraded tier 7 DD! What?! And actually, we're going to use a little bit of that and just get the, the tier 8. We're so close at this point. It should only be like four or 5,000 if that... So, yeah, 3,000, okay. Oh, and we almost have enough for the B-hole upgrade as well. Okay. Alright, guys, so we are going to um, end this live stream here. Need to duck that back down to 18,000 free XP. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the live stream here. We got to the tier 8 um, in... 11 games, so we're to the tier 8, and how many red boosters do I have? We have, at, why do I have a perma, oh, for some event cameras, okay, right, so we have 8 more of these red boosters, so here's the thing, if we can get from the tier 8 to the tier 10 by using the red boosters, which I have 8 of, seven of for the XP. I think that's actually doable and I think we'll do this in like 19 or 20 games. Which is still pretty fast. So that'll be interesting to see. And we'll we will continue this on next Friday night's live stream. So make sure you come out for that, which will be the same place, same time. So make sure you you are here for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching so much. Thank for you you guys that subscribed and Get the subs on Twitch and the super chats from YouTube. Thank you guys so much for that. If, you haven't, if you're not following the uh, YouTube channel or the Twitch channel, make sure you do so in their respective ways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And hope to catch you guys 
in the next one.